These are the horses. Number one, Cameo Sabra. John Cavatalassi of Lansdale, Pennsylvania, Jeff Cox trains. David Miller, the one, Cameo Sabra. Number two, kick in last. Lauren Paul Baker, Galloway, Ohio, Jim Marley Jr. trains. Dell S. Miller, the driver. The two, kick in last. The three, Tucson Susie. Frederick Sauer of Uniontown, Ohio. Ray Crawford trains Don Irvine Jr. in the three, Tucson Susie. The four, Touch of an Angel. A.R. Howgrove City. W.C. Fulcher Jr. of Columbus. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains Luke Roulette in the bike of the four, Touch of an Angel. The five, Fan Amber. Fred Bates of Mount Perry, Pete Polk, Zanesville, Ed Ryder, Trurange, Mike LeChance on the five, Van Amber. The six, Gianda. Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, Tim Rucker, Train, John Campbell for the six, Gianda. The seven, Savannah's Magic, Shakira Patel of Springfield, Marty Willem, Trurange, Brad Henners drives the seven, Savannah's Magic. And number eight, our Miss Samantha. Classy Quine of Lexington, Kentucky. Chip Noble trains and drives. The eight, our Miss Samantha. And that's the field for the Ohio Breeders' Championship. Three-year-old Philly Pace. Third division. Ohio Breeders' Championship. Three-year-old Pacing Phillies. Third division. In behind the starting gate. The gate swings into the stretch end. Here they come. They're up and pacing Fan Amber out for the lead in the middle of the track. Cameo Sabra on the inside. On the outside, our Miss Samantha. He had a kick and last, gets away fourth, racing fifth, touch of an angel. Tucson Susie is six, racing seventh, Genda, treading the field, Savannah's magic. Down the backside to go, Fan Amber with the lead. Our Miss Samantha on the outside. Opening quarter, 27 and one. He end of the turn, our Miss Samantha has the lead but can't clear. Racing second, Fan Amber fights back. Moving on the outside, Cameo Sabra trying to close the gap, kicking last. Oh, into the stretch first time. On top of the field, Fan Amber, our Miss Samantha's hung on the outside at the half. 56 seconds, 28 and 4, second quarter, kick and last, racing third, up on the outside, Cameo Sabra fourth, touch of an angel locked in fifth, moving on the outside, Jenda now six, Tucson Susie seven, Savannah's Magic tips to the outside from way back, they're going three wide and it's Cameo Sabra and David Miller at the three quarter mark, one, 25 and 3, 29 and 3, back side, a little more than an eighth of a mile to go, on top of the field, our Miss Samantha has got the lead, Cameo Sabra challenging on the outside, Fan Amber on the inside, nowhere to go, touch of an angel on the outside, Jenda, here comes, touch of an angel, Luke Lewitt, our Miss Samantha at the wire, of an angel. One, 56 and three. the stands and going to the winner's circle. Number four, touch of an angel. They are out in Grove City. If you see Fulcher Jr. of Columbus, Virgil Morgan Jr. trains, Luke Ula in the Saki. Harness Racing's winning his driver in purse money this year. Luke Ula. Sixth win and 19. The three-year-old Philip of Tucson, Hanover to Ferris on court. Home a winner in one, 56 and three. Sixth win in 19. Touch of an angel, fairly animated in the winner's circle and Luke uh, showing his horsemanship abilities. He hopped right off the sulky, went up to the horse's head, 
Now she's standing quietly as Jason Settlemeyer gets ready to uh, place the blanket on number four, Touch of an Angel. I think Jason's going to let Luke handle the chores there. There we go. Well, Jason and Luke, <laughs> two, of, uh, two of the top personalities in racing teaming up there as trainer Virgil Morgan comes into the picture. And there's Bob Glazer with the trophy presentation to the Touch of an Angel Connections winning driver Luke Willett at the Meadowlands this spring. Luke and uh, his uncle Mike Lachance were trading the lead back and forth in the driver's uh, race as far as number of wins. And all of a sudden, Luke started ripping off six wins every, every Saturday. I mean, he, this guy was just amazing and quickly just uh, blew it wide open. And that's the best driving colony in the world. And to dominate it like he did is simply incredible. There, there's Bob Glazer uh, with his little brown jug day lid. You see a lot of the ladies at the Kentucky Derby with those giant hats. That's the official lid of uh, Pandarosa's owner, Bob Glazer, here for jug day. wonder if there's uh, any significance to uh, the hat he's wearing or the jacket he's wearing. Bob, uh, I wonder how much Adidas is paying him to wear that hat today. Bob certainly.